Hey guys, it's Bridget. Um, okay, today I have a really kind of short video for you. It's my top five favorite nail polishes for summer. Um, some people have been requesting this just because, I don't know, I know, I like painting my nails all the time and I know some people do too. So, um, let's just get to it. So my first one is this coily color. It's from Sinful Colors, which you can get from basically any drugstore, and now Walmart. I just saw them at Walmart today too. Um, it's in the color Hazard, number 952, and um, I actually have this on my toes right now. I'm not going to show you my feet because I just think that's kind of strange. I don't know. I have this thing with feet. Anyway, um, so... I have this on my toes right now. You really do need three coats to build like a shiny, opaque color, but it's really nice. It makes me look not transparent, which is a plus. We know the transparency thing is an issue. And it's just a really pretty color. And it's not overwhelming, should I say. It's not like, it can probably work on any skin tone, especially for those people who tan very well. This would be a great color for you guys. But, um, it could basically work on any skin tone, and I enjoy it, so. Um, the second one is actually sort of like a top coat. Um, it's Hard Candy's new polishes in the little skinny bottle. And, um, this one is called Black Tie Optional, number 651. And in the bottle it looks basically like a black polish with white glitter in it. But it's basically a clear polish with really, really huge black and white glitter particles in it. With like the hex glitter, which is like the octagon. It's cool. Shapes. I don't know. Um, and basically, um, I know you can't see the brush too well, but it has a really nice brush for this kind of thing. Because it picks up the glitter really well. Um, usually when I'm doing this on my nails, I do a white um, base coat, and then I do like two or three coats, three if I'm feeling obsessive, two if I'm feeling, you know, that my, this, uh, my obsession with nail polish hasn't taken over my life yet, then I'll do two. Um, and then it'll just kind of like build a, like this black and white kind of spotty thing, and it kind of looks like, um, the splatter graphic art, where you like take a toothbrush and you like splatter it all over the canvas or the paper. I don't know. It's really cool and I recommend their polishes highly. I know that Hard Candy just came out with this kind of thing and I, this is the first one I've tried from them and it's really nice. Like I definitely recommend these polishes but I'll have to try out some more and tell you guys how it goes. So Okay, number three. Whoop is um, actually another top coat. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with putting stuff over the top of my nails. And this one is also from Hard Candy, now to think of it. It is the Hard Candy Just Nails um, matte top coat called Mattly in Love. Um, top coat called Mattly in Love. Um, three, four. So, this is basically your basic matte top coat, and I don't know, I've been liking this with a lot of bright colors for summer, just to have like a different look with the matte, because you always see like bright colors and they're all shiny and you know, attention grabbing, but I mean I think this can still be, grab some attention with it still being matte. And um, this was $6 I believe at Walmart, or Super Walmart in my case. Um, and it's definitely cheaper than the SE or OPI matte top coats. Just forgot the number, that was really stupid. Number four! Four! I need to learn how to add. Not good at math, but whatever. Um, it's one of my favorite, favorite polishes of all time! Ugh, not just for summer, but for every time of the year. It's Wet n Wild's I need a refresh mint number 218A. Um, it's like this. 
and I will include all these pictures in the um, in the video as well. And um, it's by Wet n Wild, like I said. It's one of their new Mega Last ones, which is this is one of the ones they have on um, they have for purchase all the time, so you can get it anytime. Um, it's like a minty blue. It's not. It's more of a light blue, not a blue green. There's not really a lot of green undertones in this, but I don't know. It kind of looks different once it turns out of the bottle, but it's still very nice. Um, this is my old chunky one, which is gross, but I've used this one a lot. Like I use this one all the time, and it's only like two dollars, so you should go out and buy it right now. Product. You know, products that I love. I just, oh my god. I'm obsessed with this polish. And all the other Mega Last ones that I have, I am also obsessed with as well. So, that says something, I guess. Number five is um, an oily polish. And if you could see, if you're a nail polish junkie like me, you know, these are the old bottles of oily polish. And everyone's been talking about the oily, um, what's it called, gumdrop color, where it's like another blue, but I had so many blues, so I wanted a, like, a little nice purple for summer, and I bought this one, it's actually called Lollipop, and it's like a lavender, and I love, 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 love the color lavender so much, um, and I, it's kind of, you need to build it, is what I'm going to say, because I bought this one, and I have another oily polish that I bought at the same time, and it's, the name is not important, it's something to do with brides or something walking down the aisle of love, I don't, I don't know, um, but that one is really, really shoot, and I was really afraid that this one was going to be the same thing, not the case, um, by two coats, this is opaque, it's shiny, it's definitely, um, wearable, and, um, I don't know, it stays on a very long time, which is always the case with oily polishes for me, so, I don't know, I really like it, and that's all I could say about that, because I just love lavender polishes right now. Ha! Oh, bonus! Um... Number six isn't actually a nail polish, it's a nail polish accessory. Um, my best friend got me these a long time ago, and I'm still using them to this day. And it's this little color wheel thing, and it's the basically the things that you put on your nails with clear nail polish. Like, what you do is you take paint your nail, you know, and then you put little dabs of clear nail polish where you want the things to go. And I don't know if you guys could see this. But, because they're really tiny, like, they're really small. And, um, I like the watermelons best, along with the kiwis, because the reds and greens always show up nice against, like, bright colors for summer, so. I don't know, I've used a lot of these, and I'm actually running out, so I may have to go to Sally's and get more, but, I mean, I love these things, and I, all my friends do, too. Like, I was ecstatic when my friend bought this for me, so, yeah. I guess that's about it, so. Those are my top five nail polish favorites for summer, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry I was on hiatus for a while, more like four days, but yeah. Um, <laughs> not like the not as long as the Fall Out Boy hiatus, but um, long for me because I actually really enjoy filming videos for you guys and just giving my opinion on stuff, and hopefully getting better at my makeup tutorials where I'm not like, <gasps> cover my face, ugh, so, yeah, I mean, what can I say, like, I was actually really busy, and now I'm not, well, I sort of am, but anyway, I'm gonna get back on schedule, and I hope to be seeing you guys soon, and thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel, it means so much to me, because, like, this is, like, my ultimate goal right now, what I'm doing, and I just... I don't know, I just love it. So, thank you so much, and for watching, subscribing, I don't know, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye!